I want to... You're going to lighten it up. Way. Let's lighten it up, Willie Doo. Really Let's uh, lighten it up, Willie Doo. TJI Fridays argues you're eating burgers incorrectly. I didn't know that I was. So how would you think uh, eating a burger would be? I would. Like how would you do it? I would, I would lift a burger and squeeze a burger, and then I would bite a burger. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's all I would ever think. Now, are they going to tell me I'm going to use a knife and fork or something? Because no way. If they tell no me that, no way. Then it's going to be. I don't buy it. As Mo likes to say, it's going to be a fight on site. Yeah. Although, granted, <laughs> he means it in the least harmful way possible. <laughs> what? Go ahead, Will. What is it? So is it like how they make it or put fries in it? Apparently, I'm crazy. Uh, apparently, you're supposed to flip it. The thicker bun soaking up the burger juice. Yeah, okay. I yeah. can see that. That's fine. That's all you do. You just flip the burger. That's fine. You know, there. Th that's more of like also when you start thinking about making the burger and they talk about strategic placement for the tomato or something because right. of yeah. slipperiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. same with if you're going to put any type of sauce on it. It's there's. I'm Pickles. sure there's tactics. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's tactics. Because the thing about me, and probably the same for you, I like all these ingredients. But sometimes I just I just can't commit to the th the process of yeah. eating that thing once I have all these toppings. Lettuce and tomato can't go together on top of each other. Mm. It's slipping and sliding. Mm -hmm. That's why they put the lettuce at the bottom and then the patty bun at the uh, <laughs> the patty on top of the lettuce. Go ahead, Will. And then you put the lettuce on or <laughs> uh, tomato. <laughs> the tomato. Yeah. Go and ahead. then the fried onions. Gotta nice. have fried onions. This is a yeah. fancy burger. And then, uh, you know, aioli. Where the oh hell God. are you going? <laughs> what <laughs> restaurant are you at, Ray? Are you making and this you gotta yourself? tell me about this restaurant. Yeah, are you making this yourself? Great. What are you talking about? Yeah, right? I I thought, well, yeah okay, we're not... Will. Oh, what? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> TJI Fridays here. You're at the restaurant. Oh, okay. You can't just be customizing to that extent. That's true, yeah. Um... How they would eat their burgers. Well, here's the thing. You you flip it over. But Lou, does somebody do this at your table and you not bring it up? Like if somebody, they flip, they just flip. Do you notice? Are you uh, are you making some sort of statement about myself right now? No. Mm, am I? Do you mean me specifically, or do you mean that like, like anybody would if, notice? If I was at with my friends and one of my friends flipped their burger, I'm saying, right. what are you doing? Oh, really? Yeah. You're yeah. saying? Yeah. I would. What's, what's up? It is kind of <laughs> odd. But. How would you approach that, though? Would it, what, with what level of seriousness? Like, okay, so I... I, I think it depends on how we're, close I We're am. at TJI Fridays, mm -hmm. and I flip my burger. Okay. Right? It's happening right now. I lift up. I flip. Right. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, well, I ask you what you're doing. No, I no, feel no, like... no, we're acting right now. This is the event. Oh. I'm lifting the burger. You and I. Yeah. We're eating dinner. TJI Fridays. What are you doing? Yeah, that's acceptable. I would do the same thing. But with what, the hand. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> just, just eating my burger here. I'm trying to enjoy myself. No, I'm at TJ Fridays. I don't go out often. Oh, I thought you flipped the burger on purpose. Flip the burger on purpose? Yeah, this is the way that you eat the burger. The juices, they go into the bun on the bottom, the fat bun. What? It can absorb more of the juices. How juicy is your burger that you got to do this? Well, I'm at TJ Fridays. I mean, they put a lot of effort <laughs> oh, into, right, the, right. into the burger. And right. Okay. Can I go back to enjoying it now? Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice, healthy conversation. You think that was a healthy one? Yeah. yeah. We got to the bottom of it. It was quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I try to think of my own approach. I'd probably be more along the lines of yeah, just you're, you're and your way whole thing. more of an yeah. entertainer. It'd be like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably this would probably be me. I'd probably be like, so uh, this is what we're doing now, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. This is what we're doing. And yeah. the person's like, what? What am I doing? <laughs> Little burger flip. Mm -hmm. The guy <laughs> drops his burger. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Well, it some makes people, sense. I don't think I'll ever remember to do it, but no. but it does make sense. The but if you remember, would you appreciate it, this uh, advice? Well, if it turns out, great. Yeah, I just yeah. don't think... Here's one that I really do do. Okay. Do-do? Wraps and burritos. Okay. 
the way you eat them. Wait a sec. Before I go into it, any techniques and come to mind when I say wraps and burritos? Anything come to mind where you're like, oh, you have to do this tactic to sit in order to do it right? Mm. Well, there's problems with wraps and burritos. Tons of problems. Yeah. Yeah. Many ways so, to screw it up. Yeah. But like, here's the thing. I have kids, so I have to think about and describe mm -hmm. techniques. Yeah, they need right. to learn everything. You'd be amazed. They're yeah. bored. They need to learn everything. <clears throat> yeah. They start from scratch. You'd be amazed because there's many things you just take for granted. You're like, of course I do this right. Right. I'm an adult. Of mm -hmm. course I do everything right. And then a child asks yeah. you, all why these, do you do it this way? All these things. Yeah. Um, can I ask you which one you prefer? Um, aluminum foil wrap on a burrito or paper? <sighs> Oh, my God. This is a great question. Yeah, like a wax. You're talking about a wax paper? Yeah. Okay, so first of all, all of these materials could be upgraded. Okay. Right? No, I'm <laughs> You're saying... You're not like happy with when any Tim, of them. When Tim Hortons gave you the rip and peel and mm -hmm. it was like a dome and... Right. There's, there's opportunities here. Mm -hmm. But I, I have to say the wax paper, the tin foil, get out of my face. <laughs> really? And let me, let me tell you why. The steam. Well, heat, it mm -hmm. plays a big role, but also the way that the channeling works on the material. If, you cr if, it, if it can create the smallest channel of drip, there's no absorbency. Right. So any failure mm -hmm. is resulting in drippage. Right. You have a pool at the Whereas bottom. Whereas with a wax paper, at least there's a degree of absorbency. Not a ton. but Not there. a ton, but something to give mm -hmm. you a warning. Fair warning. What could have been seven steamy drips on your thigh might be one or two. Right. Uh, I might have to disagree. <gasps> Mainly because with aluminum foil, there's customization there. Like when you're unwrapping it, you can go to different levels where I feel like wrapping like the plastic paper, oh, the it's like you don't get that many chances. You might rip and then the whole thing is disaster. Well, depending on the place you go to, some of them are really good at the roll, the roll and wrap. And it be, it's very obvious how you're supposed to interact. Yeah. But honestly, neither of these things, two things matter to the extent... Uh, of the tactic and technique that I was getting into. Okay. Because you're still going to have to employ this if you want to have a good experience. Now, this depends on where you're going, and it depends on the scale of the item, mm -hmm. burrito or wrap or otherwise. What you need to do is eat more topping than wrap you never oh, like a push spill kind of thing you can never try to create the ultimate bite or you're in for a disaster yeah you have this feeling that in order to properly enjoy it that each bite should have some of everything yep this is where you fail that's me this is where you fail you try to take too much you get greedy Mm -hmm, and yeah. you assume it's a, it's possible to have it all. Guess what? You can never have it all. Anywhere, <laughs> anytime. You trade one for the next. Yeah. You want to have it all for three bites? Guess what? Your next 16 suck. And the biting, too. You, you don't put the whole thing in your mouth. You bite corners, right? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But my point is very specific that you leave, you leave wrap... On the outside, which actually extends beyond the inside. Do you rip or do you unfold? What do you mean rip or unfold? I bite. Eventually, I bite. And then not the I, wrapper. No, no, no. I'm not talking about wrapper. I'm talking about the actual wrap. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about the tortilla. I'm talking about the soft flour sure. roll. You have to leave more of it than you think you want to as a perimeter. Holding ingredients in. Yes, I agree. And then, as he said, you elevate ingredients to keep the correct ratio. Okay. And you never get greedy. Okay. And I know people want it all. And I know people put up with the mess. And I know you can clean yourself up. Mm -hmm. But I look at a burrito as a challenge. And I say to myself, I'd stare at burrito in the face. <laughs> and I say, listen here, burrito, we're going to make a deal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat you slow and steady. You're going to behave yourself. <laughs> And that's a deal we make. 
What about the rapper? What about the rapper? You're obsessed with the rapper. <laughs> the rapper ba- get... the rapper barely plays a role if you do it right. Mm-hmm. If you eat the burrito right, then the rapper barely pl- plays a role. The rapper But do you to... rip or do you unpeel? That's what I'm There's trying no to ask. There's no ripping. You. I'm never ripping. There's no ripping. So involved. how do you pull it out of the uh wrapping contraption? It's not a big deal. You just start to you start to unfold the top portion and then you fold it over itself and then you ensure like this depends on the place you're going. Sometimes they'll twist at the bottom, sometimes yes. it's an even wrap, but you essentially try to create that twist scenario yourself. But you keep the wrapper around because if you rip, then it's gone. Yeah. So but like I said, I believe with the right technique, I could unwrap the entire burrito and live my life. Okay. Yeah, it's it's difficult. Remember the one time that they did the prank? I think it was, was it Yes Theory? And and they did a, a fake Justin Bieber eating a burrito from the side. Does anybody remember that viral video? And it no. made it into TMZ? No. They got a guy who uh, look alike. They wanted to see if they could create. I don't want to shout out the wrong people. I think it was Yes Theory. It might have been somebody else. Anyway, oh, they, they, they wanted create... to create a viral story. Uh-huh. It is Yes Theory. This was huge. And oh, they, I remember this. Everybody I just had remember this. Yeah. this was everywhere, man. And they're like, he doesn't know how to eat a burrito. <laughs> it's kind of The funny. simplest thing. It's but so... it, it was so relatable that everybody struggles with burritos. And so to see. It's just believable enough. <laughs> to see him eat it from the side. And also, you know, people want to hate on somebody yeah. like him. Mm-hmm. And so it was like the perfect concoction of a viral scenario and they made a video about it they track oh my god tmz picked up the mm-hmm. story and then these guys picked it and then whatever and then the whole thing uh obviously blew up after that yeah so anyway as far as the uh the burger goes it's not a bad idea i'm 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 down all right i'm down for it well we can do it next time i eat a burger i'll try it out yeah, me too. So the top part of the bun can soak up the ingredients better. 